Hereford in their white shirts, black shorts and white socks. Chorley in their reverse kit of all blue, shooting from right to left, the visitors, of course, for, to the Black Friars end from where we are in the commentary position. And uh, Hereford shooting there for left to right towards the meadow end in the first half. A switch of play on a Saturday afternoon. And uh, we're all ready to go here on Radio Hereford FC and HFC TV as the referee makes sure everyone's on the pitch and we can start the stopwatch and we are underway. McQuilkin will be the man to take this one. It's a yard outside the penalty box. Very, very close. It'll be his right boot to swing this one in. You can't miss him in this bright yellow boot and he'll play this one just high over towards the back post and always there was Kelsey Mooney. It's dropped again for Digi. Digi now switching towards the edge of the area. Drops to Dan Jones, gets the shot with his left foot. Blazed over the bar and out for a goal kick. A good free kick from McQuilkin. Just no end product. Dan Jones left footed in towards the box, headed away by the first man out towards McQuilkin. He's going to put this one all the way back to Lloyd. Now over on the left hand side, it's almost back over to Dan Jones and the good defensive block from Connor Hall to stop the fizzled ball. Going straight through, Lennel John Lewis in the edge of the box from the throwing, gets the turn and it's scuff shot really, just on the uh, brink of the penalty area. It looked like it took a to slight deflection actually, goalkeeper had to stop that or it's another corner. To move forward, Andy Halls plays this one back towards Mike Calverley over on the right hand side now with Arlen Birch and towards the box, Calverley was waiting there, back to Andy Halls again, this one's not back though for Elliot and it's tipped wide by Paul White. A great shot from Elliot Newby on the edge of the area. Of course, he scored twice this season already. And he might have got a third there, but if it wasn't yeah. for Paul White to parry that one. Hesit there. Hesitancy on the edge of the box from the Hereford defenders then. You can see uh, this onto his left foot. Had to go and uh, goalkeeper down. Saves well at the foot of his post. The players looking to try and get onto the end of this one. Tom Owen Evans. Instead, it's McQuilkin, the other option. And Hodgkiss now with a bit of... Work to get past two defenders. McQuilkin on the edge of the box, gets the left shot away. And it's parried just wide again by Matt Irwin in the right place. And McQuilkin, well, it looked as though yeah. Hodgkiss was struggling to get the ball away from the he two defenders. He used his experience then, didn't he, to see the gap open up? I mean, he vastly experienced ex Hereford He United. did, he used a bit of pace as well. Warsaw, Telford, Kidderminster, Harry. Moving forward, Elliot Newby trying to get the shot away on his left foot. It's parried back towards Harry Cardwell, who slipped over. And Jared Hodgkiss will just about clear this one away as he switches past him onto his left to get the clearance upfield. Digi now with a nod down towards Giles Coke, and Coke will be able to play this one to Lloyd as now Hereford try and break forward. Dan Jones almost loses his footing with the ball as Tom Owen Evans now makes a switch over towards that left hand. Back towards Tom Owen Evans, keeps the ball in play again. It was very high and loose. It just somehow managed to stay in play. Leonard John Lewis knocks this one on towards Kelsey Mooney, finds McQuilkin in the box with a bit of space. And he's lent back too much and taken the shot over the bar. And that was a great opportunity right on half time for Hereford to take the lead. Yeah, best opportunity of the half and good work by Kelsey Mooney then uh, to find McQuilkin. But uh, just seeing the replay of it now for those of you who are watching on the stream. And he got it. And in the end, he just got underneath it and he's, he's disappointed with that. So. It's down the right hand side and Dan Jones will get the initial header into the air. Leonard John Lewis trying to hold off the defence. And this one's down towards Tom Owen Evans. Kelsey Mooney's in the box and it's blocked away by captain Scott Leather for Chorley out for a corner on this near side to the home side. Left, right arm in the air, it'll be his left boot from the corner. Out swinging in towards the box and it's headed on by Grimes and Matt Irwin was down to make the save. A fantastic header from Grimes who has to run back into his defensive position now. On target but straight at the keeper. Dan Jones with a chance to run in towards the area, in towards the middle instead to Tom Owen Evans. Knocks this one back for Hodgkiss, who's in the centre, up towards Kelsey Mooney again, running onto the end of that one, who hasn't really found the end of many loose balls. Hodgkiss trying to open up a shot on his left foot, does get the shot away, it's deflected and in! Yeah, Jared Hodgkiss. Jared Hodgkiss got the shot on his left foot, it took a massive deflection past Matt Irwin, but into the back of the net it goes, 60 minutes on the clock, we've just hit the hour mark and Hereford have home advantage, they have a home lead as well, it's 1-0. Yeah, he deserved that, didn't he, the way he came forward then. I thought he was going to pass it out to McCookin on the right and so on. Well, and he was end, given space, knocked just... it from his right onto his left, got the shot away and it took a huge deflection. Oh, yeah, I... More than often, Chorley breaking down the left-hand side, Low Lewis Baines up towards the edge of the box and it's passed back again over towards the left-hand side. And Ball in towards the box and at the far post is there and it's just off the post again. 
And waiting was Arlen Birch, and he just couldn't find the back of the net. He oh. had the whole target to aim at from about a yard out. And Jared somehow, Hodgkiss is going absolutely ape at the defence there. Well, somehow Hereford again. managed to keep it out. It was a lovely fizz ball across the back post, and it came, it came off, off, the, off post. the post. Yeah, and eventually put out a play by Jared Hodgkiss. And the somehow... Post. It's one of those that hit the post and went along the line to the other post, and nobody can put it in. It just needed a touch from one of them. Corner in towards the box though from Chorley up towards the back stick and it's headed across goal. Paul White can't get onto the end of that one. It's loose and it's wide again. Andy Halls was the man who got his head onto it at the first instance. And Paul White has actually gone down. He seems to have picked up a knock in that one. And the referee calling for someone. We're going to have a look at the replay on the TV monitor. Paul White went down onto he the edge of the box. He did actually save it twice. There's a, yeah, there's a couple of players lashing against it. And it fell to... Lewis Riley in the end, who just sliced it wide. And surely still trying to put the pressure on down the left-hand side. They come again as Hereford try and contain the men in blue, the visitors of the Magpies this afternoon. Proud history they have. They're in the FA Cup second round. I'm sure they've got that on the back of their minds at the moment as they try and push for a point. Lovely play ball over towards Alan Birch on the right-hand side. Bit of time to size up across and towards the box and almost at the back post and in! It's the substitute of Lewis Riley that was there. And Arlen Birch had so much time on the right-hand side. Put the ball in towards the box. Lewis Riley in the right place at the right time. It escaped everyone else's heads. Kennedy Digi couldn't reach onto the end of it. And Lewis Riley and Elliot Newby were there. But it was the number 10, Lewis Riley, with second goal of the season for Chorley to make it 1-1. And probably about five or so minutes left of the second half to play. Trouble going forward as well at one or two times. He yeah. has, but he's got a bit of defending to do. Andy Hall's bringing this one in towards the centre. It's the shot, it's deflected and in! And just like that, two quick fire goals within three minutes and surely from being 1-0 down have taken a 2-1 lead and Hereford haven't got much time at all to get back into this one. It was just like Hodgkiss's goal that opened up the scoring this afternoon. It took a deflection, but it was Andy Hall's that ran in. And Paul White was waiting to get onto the end of it, and it just dropped past him with the deflection. There's so much time. It was Hodgkiss, in fact, that did get the deflection that took it past his own goalkeeper. Done what they did against Wigan in the FA Cup. They've just put the pressure on, turned up the pace when they needed to, and somehow found a goal out of it. And this, tie, this side, this Chorley side, after the start they had to the season, though, will not be beaten. Right arm in the air, Dan Jones, left-footed ball in towards the box from the corner, up towards the head of Leonard John Lewis, yes! and in! The equaliser, <laughs> that was. And it's Leonard John Lewis who rose for the header. It's his third goal of the season for the Bulls. And just when we were thinking that Chorley were going to run away with three points, think again. Leonard John Lewis, just in front of Kennedy Digi, launches the ball into the top corner. And we find ourselves level again. What an exciting second half we've had. It's 2-2. Um, sporting pay man of the match this afternoon, Kennedy Digi, for, I think, a really accomplished display at uh, centre-half this afternoon. Defensive performance in, a, in a, a performance that actually had been littered with errors from both sides. And there is the final whistle. And there is the final whistle here at Edgar Street. It's the first point that Hereford have picked up at home. Hereford 2, Chorley 2. Jared Hodgkiss scored the opening goal in the second half. 60 minutes on the clock. It took a wicked deflection off Scott Leather, but it's a goal all the same for the home side. But then two quick fire goals from Chorley. First from the substitute, Lewis Riley, who came on for an injured Harry Cardwell, just been the midway through the first half and then a fantastic strike and a run from Andy Halls it took a deflection off Hodgkiss and into the back of the net past Paul White but just when you thought Chorley might have won it it was a corner up the other end whipped in of course from number 23 Dan Jones Leonard John Lewis rose up for the header and wins the point for Hereford here at Edgar Street it's finished Hereford 2 Chorley 2 